Hey, how's it going? So, <laughs> I just thought that uh, when I woke up today, my bed head was pretty funny and that I would share it with everyone. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> but uh, I had some technical issues and this is actually the second time I'm doing this on a, a, on a completely different camera. <laughs> Yay, technology. But anyway, um, while I was doing all of that in preparation to do this, I was reminded of, well, a number of things. And they're pretty much hair, black hair and comedian related. <laughs> and so the first thing I thought was I had seen Robin Thede's, uh Black Lady Sketch Show, but I don't know if that's where I saw that. Yeah, it was on there. There was a sketch where she or her character and some friends had gone on a trip together <clears throat> and one of them didn't bring anything to wrap her hair. In fact, just didn't do it. And they just, I just thought it was so funny because I was like, that's so me. Because I, I know that people wrap their hair and it's not just black people, but you know, it's so that you don't wreck the hairdo, you know, like if you went to a salon you don't want those salon curls to get messed up when you go to sleep. So you put a, or people do, <laughs> put a hair wrap of some kind, like a scarf or some such thing. And it was just a funny sketch because the women that did have the wraps were so appalled that the one didn't. And, and do. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because like to me, it's also not that big of a deal if, you know, but I also don't go to the salon and get my hair done, you know? And yeah, that's a pain. <laughs> Smelly. Anyway, um, so I that was reminded of that. Robin Thede, very funny. I I'm, If I can find him, I'll list the other cast members in that sketch. And then the, uh, the next thing I was reminded of was just like last week or the other day or something nearby, John Oliver did a, on his show, he didn't do a snake, there was no, <laughs> he did a essay, I guess you could say, a video essay, a essay <laughs> on black hair, which, I mean, if you know who John Oliver is, you understand why that is just just right out of the gate absurd like dude what are you doing <laughs> but on the other hand oh, oh yeah so if you don't know who john oliver is he's a white british comedian <laughs> guy <laughs> but as usual I learned things about black hair that I was not aware of. And, and I can finally now answer, well, I can't really answer the question of why do black people always have those little bangs is what a roommate asked me years ago. And my answer was, I don't know, it's like the straightest hair on your head or something. I, it was just a guess, I don't know. Um, and that tells you how far away I am from the subject. Like I had no clue. And I still don't really, but I learned on that show that it's like a big thing. On me, it just kind of happens, you know? I mean, that's just the way my hair lays. I don't, like, shine it up or style it or anything. Actually, usually I just brush it back so it's not there to <clears throat> invite questions like, why do you do that? But that's black people's stuff for another person to do on another channel. <laughs> I just thought it was funny that he did it and just, <laughs> but he does that stuff so well, like he, you know, goes way in depth into the subject and he has like visual demonstrations and <laughs> he's very good and I know he pisses a lot of people off, but I, whoa, I should get some sort of stand, uh, yeah. I think, well, I think he's smart, and I think he does good research, and I think he's funny, and he did it. His episodes, like, since the last uh, administration have really not been all that funny because of, well, I don't have to explain. <laughs> um, and 
I think it probably would be even more offensive to someone likely to be offended by him doing that uh, had he been, like, at all comical about it, you know? I'm, I'm sure he realized that he was going to be, like, basically out on the high wire with no net <laughs> talking like that. But he didn't say wrong stuff. I mean, as far as, my, as, far as I'm concerned, it seemed, it seemed all check out. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, then the third comedian, ah, uh, God, I knew I was going to do this before I started this. I should have looked up. Okay, I didn't look up this guy, but he is a white comedian, and evidently he likes black women, and he was talking about being out with this one black woman, and she had an itch. I had never heard of this, okay? <laughs> this was just wacko to me, but he said that... She kept patting her hair, and he was like, what do you, I guess somehow he knew, because I didn't know what this was. He's like, what, do you have an itch? <laughs> and she's like, yeah, it's really, you know, okay. It's what I thought, because this is me with an itch. Even if my hair is so-called styled or whatever, um, what? That doesn't, like, I have an itch right now, right here. That just makes it worse. Yeah, that's that's all four fingers getting in there. But as I said, look at that. That left a canyon. This is the bedhead. So anyway, um, I will let's see if I can remember. I will write it on my hand. <laughs> Put the dude's name, the comedian who I can't remember with the black girlfriend or the date. Uh in the link. Hold on a second, I can't do two things at once, I guess. I wonder if whiteboarding comes off easily. <laughs> guess I'll find out. Okay, that's about it. Just wanted to show you my fantastic bedhead. <laughs> Thank you and good night.